Great, so well done today. We learned a lot of information. So can you come round a bit and have a look at this board here? So we were looking at present simple, information about us. And we were looking at positive and negative sentences like, I watch television, negative, I don't watch television. I do my homework, I don't do my homework. So in the positive, we always use subject, I or you or we or they. And in the negative, we just add this word, don't or do not. So I watch television, I don't watch television. And this is the same for I, you, we, and they. We looked again at short questions, yes, no questions. Do you play football? Yes, I do, no, I don't. Do you listen to the radio? Yes, I do, no, I don't. So for negatives and for questions, we use this little verb in the negative, and we use this little verb in the question. And then, today for the first time, we looked at question words. Can you show these question words? Yeah, good. We used question words, who, what, why, when, which, where, how long, how many, how much. These are the ones you told me. And then we used question words in front of these questions. So instead of being a little question, do you play football? Yes, I do, no, I don't. We were saying, oh, I read the newspaper. And then you asked, ah, when do you read the newspaper? I read the newspaper in the afternoon. When? About time in the afternoon. And then we said, well, where do you read the newspaper? About a place. And you said, I read the newspaper at home. And then we asked a question. Somebody said, oh, I write a letter. And we say, and somebody said, why do you write a letter? And we say, why? Well, because. I write a letter because I need to find an answer. Here, we said, when somebody said, I write a letter, they said, well, who do you write a letter to? Person. I write a letter to my daughter. So we found out lots of ways. We did positive, negative, short question and long questions. Long questions use the question word. But then, we learnt all of this, and then we moved on to he, she, and it. And this, is, this is just the beginning of this. And firstly, we looked at just positive and negative. Tomorrow we'll do some questions with this, but today, positive and negative. I go to school every Wednesday. He goes to school every Wednesday. I do the washing every day, she does the washing every day. I read a book, she reads a book. So whenever we use a positive sentence, and we also use he, she, or it, we must change the verb. In the positive, he goes, she does, I read, she reads. And then in the negative, I watch television, I don't watch television, he doesn't. So instead of I don't, we say he, she, or it doesn't. And then the verb, looks the same as when we use I, you, we, or they. The verb here doesn't change. It is this verb that changes for he, she, and it. The main verb stays the same as I go. I go, I don't go. Sh he goes, he doesn't go. So it is this auxiliary verb, little verb that changes. She doesn't do the washing every day. She doesn't read a book. This verb changes. This one stays the same, like I, you, we, and they. And then I just did a little summary here. I, you, we, they read. He, she, it reads. 
I, you, we, they, don't read. He, she, it, doesn't read. So in the positive, here is the change for he, she, it. In the negative, I, you, we, they, don't. He, she, it, doesn't. This is what changes. We'll practice this tomorrow in conversation class. Thank you.